Unpacking and Preparation Open the package and take out the inverter and accessories. Check the delivery for completeness and if there is any distortion or impaired during the transportation. Contact your dealer at once if anything is missing. Installation Use the wall bracket as a template to mark the position of the four holes. Drill holes with a 10 driller carefully. Make sure the holes are deep enough for install and tighten the expansion tubes. Unscrew the expansion tube and expansion screws. Install the expansion tubes in the holes and tighten them. Use the expansion screws to install the wall bracket. Move the inverter close to the bracket, then slightly lay down the inverter. Make sure the two mounting bars on the back of the inverter is fixed well with the two grooves on the bracket. Fix the screw between inverter and wall bracket. Electrical wiring connection. Strip the wire with a stripping plier. Insert the wire into an earth terminal. Crimp the terminal with a crimping plier. Separate the PV connectors and prepare 2.5 to 4 square millimeter PV cable. Strip 7 millimeter of the conductor with a stripping plier. Insert striped cable into pin contact and ensure all conductor strands are captured in the pin contact. Crimp pin contact by using the crimping plier. Put the pin contact with striped cable into the corresponding crimping pliers and crimp the contact. Insert pin contact through the cable nut to assemble into back of the male or female plug. When you feel or heard a click, the pin contact assembly is seated correctly. Tight the DC connector. Use the same way to make PV negative cable. Separate the connector. Strip 15 mm of the connector. Carefully insert the stripped wire in the spring. Close the spring. When you feel or heard a click, the spring is snapped. Push the insert into the sleeve. Tighten the cable gland to 2 newton meter. If possible, please use a suitable or calibrated torque wrench. Use an open jaw wrench to hold the connector in place. Do the same way for making the battery negative cable. Remove the cable jacket by 40 mm and strip the wire insulation by 8 mm to 15 mm. Fully insert the conductors to the corresponding terminal and tighten the screws with the torque 0.8 newton meter. Pull cables outward to check whether they are firmly installed. Use a multimeter to measure whether the L terminal and N terminal are connected incorrectly before wiring. Assemble the housing, the terminal block and cable gland. Make sure that the rib of the terminal block and the groove of the housing engage perfectly until a click is heard or felt. Do the same way for making the EPS output. Connect the earth wire to inverter. Measure the battery power cable voltage with a multimeter. Measure the PV cable voltage with a multimeter. Connect the AC output cable to grid port of inverter. Connect the EPS output cable to the EPS port of inverter. Connect the battery power cables to inverter. Connect the PV cables to inverter. Connect the Wi-Fi or 4G or Ethernet to inverter. Remove the waterproof cover. Connect the communication cable to the BMS CAN or RS485 port. Tighten the waterproof plug. Connect the other end of the communication cable to the CAN port of BMC controller. Dial code is set communication. The default dial code is a code for connecting a single battery when the battery leaves the factory. Strip the wire with a stripping plier. Connect the blue wire to the TX positive port of meter. Connect the white wire to the TX negative port of meter. Insert the crystal head of the meter wire into meter port. Connect the CT wire. 
The arrow on the CT points along the wire to the top of the meter. Wiring sequence is shown in figure. The wiring at the lower part of the meter is shown in the figure. Start inverter. Turn on the battery. Turn on the inverter. Press the OK button. Go to the main menu and select SIS switch. Select Turn On. Long press the OK button until Set Succeed is displayed.